was it. That's it. And so we did that for three days, and um, and so we thank God for that. Amen. Amen. Pastor, good to see you. And um, and so um, at any rate, uh, we're back and ready to roll. Well, turn with me to Second Corinthians chapter number five we this is the year of transformation amen, amen. come on y'all talk to me this is the year of transformation amen. hallelujah somebody help me out put right uh, some things on the on the screen for me um the year of transformation put down somebody put down second corinthians chapter five it says therefore if any man be in christ yeah. he is a new creature old things are passed away and behold, all things, somebody say all things. All, all things. things. all things are become new. Amen. Amen. This is the year that God is, 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 is transforming us. He's, trans, he's reshaping us. He's taking us to uh, a different places uh, in, within him. And we just thank God for that. Amen. Amen. And so this year, we first, uh, we first started off this year dealing with spiritual growth. Because what we want to do at the end of the day or every day actually we just we want to grow spiritually yeah. amen yeah. we want to grow spiritually that's not something that we really want to give up on uh thank you amj we want to grow spiritually hallelujah and first peter 2 1 and 2 says so then rid yourselves of all evil all lying hypocrisy jealousy and evil speech how many people know that you can grow if you just get rid of yeah. some of those things y'all yeah. yeah. all right oh, yeah. you know evil look lying Hypocrisy. Yeah. Watch this. This is a big one. Jealousy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Jealousy. Mm -hmm. Get rid of jealousy. Rid yourselves of evil and, and all that. Watch this. Evil speech. And as newborn babes want milk, you should want the pure and simple teaching. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Watch this. By it, you can mature in your salvation because you have already examined and seen how good the Lord is. How many people know that God is good? Amen. He's good. Amen. And if, we, if we're going to grow uh, spiritually, we just got to understand that he is good yes, and he is. that he is still worthy to be praised. Yes, I want y'all to share this, Facebook church. Don't just, don't just take this word and hide it and, and grab it yourselves, but share it with somebody. Share it with your Facebook, your Facebook friends because they may, they may need this word on today. All right. Amen. The second thing we, we're, we're, we're talking about this year and we're in this quarter even right now is spiritual adjust as physical adjustments yeah. mm -hmm. physical adjustments third john chapter number one says beloved I, I wish above all things that thou may prosper and be in health even as thy soul prosper that's your mind we're going to deal with the mind just a little bit later i hope that i can i can get to it we're going to deal with that just a little bit later and the third part of this year we're going to deal with economic expansion so we're coming we're coming real close to economic expansion and and that's deuteronomy 30 and verse 5 through 9 i'm not going to read it all i'll just read uh, verse number five it says and the lord thy god will bring thee into the land which thy fathers possess and shall possess it and he will do thee good and multiply thee above all above thy fathers Amen. i'll read verse six and the lord thy god will circumcise thy heart and thy heart of thy seed and the Lord thy God with all thy heart with all thy soul that thou mayest live how many people want to live amen amen, amen. amen. I mean you know what we, we want to live and we want to live we want to live uh, lives where where God keeps us flowing economically yeah. keeps us flowing economically all the all the preaching all the teaching at some point we got to put it to work we got to put it to work. We can give you principle. We give you five steps to this, eight steps to that, seven steps to this. But we got to put the principles to work. And then we can't let up on the principles when we don't feel like it. Right. Amen. Huh? We got to keep we got to keep our foot the pedal to the metal on the principles because the principles work. Right. Not just for a season, but for all seasons. Amen. And so last uh not last week, last week Elder Bell Elder Bell taught and he taught good. He taught good. Amen. Amen. And uh, two weeks ago, I ended right here and I started talking about obedience. Somebody write that down on the screen and somebody you put this in your notes. Obedience. Obedience. And we went to Acts chapter number nine and we took a look at verse number 11 and 12. Acts chapter nine, verse 11 and 12. And we were talking about a man named Ananias, a man of God. And this man of God, he had a vision uh from God and um and, and the vision was a difficult assignment 
It was a difficult assignment. Sometimes God will give us some difficult assignments. Yeah, amen. Sometimes the assignment is not always an easy assignment. Mm -hmm. It's a difficult assignment. Acts chapter number 9, verse 11 and 12. It's, sometimes it's a difficult assignment. All right, will somebody read number 11 for me? 11 and 12 for me, Acts chapter 9. And yes. the Lord said unto him, uh -huh. Arise and go into the street, which is called Straight, uh -huh. and inquire in the house of Judah yes. for one called Saul right. of Tarsa. For behold, he prayeth and hath seen in a vision a man named Ananias mm -hmm. coming in and putting his hand on him, that he might receive his sight. Now, now, the Lord said, to Ananias, arise and go into the street, which is called Straight Street, the house of Judas. And you're going to find somebody there called Saul. Mm -hmm. Now, he's getting the assignment, y'all, from God. Mm -hmm. huh? And he's telling, he's telling Ananias in the assignment that Saul, that Saul had a vision of him coming. Mm -hmm. Right? So he's setting the scene up for Ananias. He's setting it up for him. <laughs> Y'all okay? Let's take a look at verse 13. Because this, this is where our human nature comes in. See, we get spiritual sometimes. You know, I wouldn't have did that. Oh, you wouldn't? Okay. Here's the spiritual nature. Here's, here, comes our, here comes our carnal nature. Then Ananias answered the Lord. <laughs> this is what he did, Rose. He answered the Lord. He said, I heard many things about this man. Now, he just got the assignment from God. From God. This is what I need you to do. Go down there, and I want you to lay hands on this guy. He got a vision of you coming down him laying hands on him. But Ananias comes back and says, Lord, I heard many things about this man. I heard how much evil he has done to the saints. And he have the authority. He don't, he don't just have it in his mind. He got authority. All right? And he said, from the chief priests to bind all that call on your name. I'm one of those ones that call on your name. And you're going to send me into the lion's den with him? And he can bind me? Right? He's having a conversation with the Lord. Right, right. Now, y'all, yeah, we, we, we cannot like the conversation, but it's a real conversation. Yes. It's a real conversation. Right. And he says, but the Lord said unto him, you know, and in verse number 14, he said, and the Lord said unto him, and here he had the authority from the chief priest to bind on him. But the Lord said unto him, verse 15, go thy way, for he is a chosen vessel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So God is saying, God is saying, I chose him. Watch this. To bear my name before the Gentiles and the kings and the children of Israel. For I will show him how great things he must suffer for my name's sake. Yes, is that what he said? Yeah. And, and that's got a, he got an assignment. He got an assignment. He may not, he may not like it. But he has an assignment. Watch this, y'all. Watch this. Let's go to work here. The word was out that Saul had some serious papers. Mm -hmm. Wake up and write some stuff down, y'all, from the Sanhedrin Council. Listen, sometimes, watch this, y'all. Sometimes the odds are stacked against you. Ooh, wait. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the odds get stacked against you. That, that's not no time to give up. Right. That's not no time to give up. But when the odds are stacked against you, Sometimes that's the time to dig in and say, Lord, I know you got my back. Come on now. Come huh? on. Come Sometimes, on. look at what that last one says. Sometimes the lab results are not in your favor. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. I said the lab results are not in your favor. Mm -hmm. Watch this. But somebody say this. Say, but God. But God. But God. But God. But God. But God. Watch this. We are overcomers. The power is not in the fear. The real power comes in in the overcoming. Yes, sir. The real power comes in the overcoming. Watch this. The real power comes in, in, in overcoming the fear of man's authority. Amen. Y'all still with me? Yes. Amen. Okay. It, it, because, see, man has authority, but God has the greater authority. Amen. He has greater authority. So, 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 so sometimes, and this is what I said a couple weeks ago, I shared this a couple of weeks ago, that sometimes higher education or greater knowledge has the ability to cloud our faith. Ooh. Yeah. Mm. You know why sometimes? Because we think we know more than God. Mm -hmm. We want to predict God. We want to say, oh, that don't make no logical sense. Mm -hmm. But sometimes faith don't make sense. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Don't make sense. 
Sometimes, you know, and the Bible says like this, that he will confound the wise. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. He'll confound the wise. The knowledge people. teaches us what could happen, and knowledge teaches us what could go wrong. Mm -hmm. What could go wrong? Because there's a lot of things that could go wrong. And so, and so we got to understand something, that, 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 that faith, our faith is greater than our fear. Mm -hmm. Verse number 17, Ananias went his way. He entered the house. He put his hands on him. He said, Brother Saul, the Lord, even Jesus that appeared unto you in the way as thou camest, have sent me. Yes. Oh, he's coming now. He, he's, now. Now watch this. Watch this. He said, Ananias said, that Saul had authority. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is good. Thank you, Holy Spirit. He said Saul had authority. But when Ananias walked in, he says that Jesus is the one with the authority. Y'all catch that? He says, the one that appeared to you that way, he comes in, he said, he sent me that thou might receive thy sight and be filled with the Holy Ghost. Filled mm -hmm. with the Holy Ghost. And, and so Ananias, he went in, he did what the Lord asked him to do. And sometimes we have to do what the Lord is asking us to do Amen. without reservation. Amen. Amen. Just do what the Lord is asking us to do. Amen. Some, some, sometime it's not going to feel good. Sometimes it's going to cause you to sacrifice. It's going to cause you. It's going to cause you to sacrifice. But when you sacrifice, God rewards you openly. Yes, he does. When you sacrifice, yes. I got about three amens on that. When you sacrifice, <laughs> He will reward you openly yes. because it's a sacrifice. You, Amen. He said, "I know. I, I know. I know you can do it on your own time. You. I, I know you can do it on your own time. But but do it on your do it on your leisure time, mm -hmm. huh?" Lot, we do we we like to do a lot of things when we working, <laughs> huh? Then all of a sudden, when you're not working, oh, I don't have a lot of time, huh? Because now that's that's your time. But guess what, y'all? It's all God's time. So we got to make some physical adjustments. We got to speak what God said. Watch this, and we have to do what God said because God wants it for your life. Amen. Look at that second bullet, y'all. It says that the just shall live mm -hmm. how y'all by, by faith write that on the screen somebody the just shall live by faith amen somebody say this out loud say i can i can because i have, because I have what it takes, what it takes. Mm -hmm. do you believe that mm -hmm. do you do you believe that you have what it takes mm -hmm. I, I believe that you have what it takes you have what it takes mm -hmm. and, and, and sometimes the assignment that god gives you elder bell it feels impossible. Sometimes. Feels impossible. It feels like there's no way. I'm not educated enough. I'm not smart enough. I'm not pretty enough. I'm not handsome enough. I can't do this. I can't do that. But you have what it takes. Amen. If God put it on your heart mm -hmm. to get it done, you have what it takes. Say that one more time. Say, I have what it takes. I have what it takes. All right. So watch this. So sometimes. When we understand, this is the new stuff coming up right here, Molly. Sometimes when you understand that you have what it takes, sometimes you got to slow your mind down. Mm -hmm. Slow your mind down. Turn with me to Psalms. Turn with me to Psalms. Chapter number 62. Now we're going to look at verses 1 through 6. We're going to look at 1 through 6. Amen. Psalm 62. We'll look at 1 through 6. Okay? Somebody say this, say, say, slow down. Slow down. Now, before we read, before we read one through six, because I'm going to slow walk through this, Elder Johnson, because this is going to be good. This is going to bless somebody. This is going to bless somebody. We got we to gotta, we gotta get some things right. We got to get our minds right. We got to get our minds right. We got to get our minds right. I know, look, I got all my, all my Facebook family. They back on now. Y'all been on vacation. We back. Okay, we back now, right? So we got to get back out of vacation mode. Do, do you realize you got to get out of vacation mode and get back to work mode? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So we got to so we got to get our minds back. Mm -hmm. Get to get our minds back so that we can do what God is calling us to, us to do. Watch this, verse sixty-two. Now we're gonna read one through six. We're gonna we're gonna break one through six down. But I need to go to verse number four mm -hmm. because 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 there's a there's a, a tone shift. Somebody say shift. shift. There's a tone shift. In this, in this, in this, in this text, I want to go with the tone, with the tone shift first, and then I'm gonna come back to it. Amen. Watch this, verse number sixty-two and four. He says, 
They consult only to cast him down from his excellency. They delight in lies. This is David. This is a song by David. They delight in lies. They bless their mouth, but they curse inwardly. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a, that's a serious shift. That's a serious shift. All right. Let's slide back up to verse number one. All right. That's a serious shift. Look at this tone. Watch this. This tone in verse number one is going to be a different tone than verse number four. Y'all hear? Okay. Watch, well, let me show it to you. Look. Verse number one. He says, truly, truly. Somebody say truly. Truly. truly my soul waiteth upon God. From him cometh my salvation. He only is my rock in salvation. He is my defense. I shall not greatly be moved. How long will ye imagine mischief against a man? Ye shall be slain of all of you, and born a uh, wall shall you be as a tottering fence. Verse number one. Truly my, sh my soul waited upon him. That, that's a different tone than, than verse four was. That, that, that they cast, they only consult to cast him down from his excellency. They delight in lies. That's a different tone. That first tone says, I got to wait on the Lord. Huh? I got to wait on the Lord. I got to wait on the Lord. We got to understand something that, that our mind, we got to get our minds, our minds right and geared toward a, 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 a building up of ourselves. Can I, can, I, can I build you back up? I know we've been on vacation, but I'm about to build us back up. I'm about to build us back up. Watch this. Watch this, y'all. We have to build up our inner man. Amen. We got to build up our inner man. That's why we're here. That's why you out there in Facebook church. Because you got to build up your inner man. Because the world is steadily trying to beat you down. The world is steadily trying to, to pull your battery down. Pull your battery down. Watch this. So you got to build up your inner man. Listen, sometimes you have to encourage yourself. Not just encourage yourself, but through the word. Mm -hmm. Through the word. Through the word. So, so, so th th there's going to be some times in your life when God gives you an assignment. And when he gives you the assignment, you're going to be about some business. You're going to be busy. You're going to be, maybe you're going to be writing a business plan. You're going to be doing this and you're going to be doing that. And, 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 and you've you got all this, this busy work going because God has given you the assignment. Mm -hmm. But then there's some times that things are going to get quiet. And those are the times where you just got to get quiet amongst, you, amongst yourself and just get in your word and start to build up your inner man. Mm -hmm. Why? Because there's something that's coming that's going to test your faith. Mm -hmm. Hmm? And you're going to need all of that yes. and a little bit more Amen. to keep on going. Mm -hmm. Huh? Amen. Huh? Yes. Huh? Yeah. So, so in other words... Look at that fourth, look at that fourth, fourth bullet. Write this on the screen, somebody. Write this on the screen. Discipline your mind. Yes. Discipline your mind. He says, truly thy soul, the soul, your soul, your mind, your will, your emotions, your soul, your soulish man. We call it your soulish man, your mind, your will, your emotions. We got to discipline the mind. That's what Bible study is really all about, saints of God. It's coming to discipline the mind. You're disciplining your, you're disciplining your soulish man because your mind will tell you, stay home. Mm -hmm. Go to the movies. Cut the grass. Rearrange your sock drawer. Huh? The mind will tell you all kind of stuff. All kind of stuff. The mind will hit the snooze alarm. Boom, I ain't going in today. The mind. The mind will tell you that everybody is against you. The mind. Huh? Everybody not against you. Everybody don't even know you. Huh? Everybody don't know you. Watch this. So you got discipline the mind. And watch this. And discipline the emotions. Because our emotions can get the best of us. Huh? Emotions. Sadness. Anger. Be hostile. Just an attitude. What you got an attitude for? I don't know. What you mad about? I don't know. Who did something to you? Nobody, but I just, I'm just mad. Huh? Just want to be mad. Huh? 
Just, what, you, what, you, what, you, what you ticked off about? I'm just ticked off. What are you ticked off about? I don't know. <laughs> just mad. Huh? Anybody do something to you? Nope. Nope. Mm -hmm. Right? And, 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 and so we got we to gotta, we gotta, we gotta start getting disciplined. Got to start getting disciplined. Even if we have, even if we are in stressful environments mm -hmm. during the day, when we come home to people that love us, we have to switch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen? Amen. Amen. Got to switch the script. <laughs> Ain't nobody else, ain't nobody there did nothing to you. Okay. Ain't nobody there made you screw in now one widget. <laughs> screw in another widget before you go. What? Yeah, I screwed another widget before I go. You mad at screwing in the widget, then you get home and you mad at everybody at the house. Mm -hmm. They didn't make you screw in no widgets. Wrong. They happy for you. Mm -hmm. They glad to see you. Amen. They like, Daddy! Yeah, you get out of here. No way for me. I'm mad about them widgets. Huh? Y'all hear what I'm saying? We got to discipline those emotions. We got to bring those emo We got to bring those emotions under subjection. Amen? Why? Because there's some people that love us. There's some people that love us. And they're counting on us to maybe be there to encourage their minds. Amen. All right? All right? Watch this, y'all. He says, truly my soul waiteth upon thee. Can I teach you a little bit right through here? The Greek word for soul is psyche. Psyche. My psyche waits on upon God. One of the most difficult tasks in our lives, if we're honest, one of the most difficult tasks is to wait on God. Mm. Preach, Thomas. That, that, that's one of the most difficult tasks, Elder Michelle, in our lives is to wait on on God. Amen. Do y'all realize? Do y'all realize? Do y'all realize? We want to now. We we live in that that get rich quick society. We want to get rich right now. We want to get rich quick. But do you realize Hershey went bankrupt seven times before he actually made it? Mm -hmm. Hershey's the candy. Mm -hmm. He went bankrupt seven times before he made it. But well, we 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 something happened. We give up first time. Mm -hmm. Huh? Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. We got to get our minds together. It, it, it's difficult to wait on God. Sometimes we just have to wait patiently on the Lord because this is what they say. This is what the word says. They that wait, wait upon the Lord wait. shall do no, do what? Renew. Renew your strength. So when you're waiting on God, you're renewing your strength. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When you're waiting on God, you're getting stronger mm -hmm. day by day. Yeah. I'm getting stronger. I, I feel like I got, I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm getting my mojo back. Huh? I feel like getting my mojo back. But we had a, we had a, uh, our, our family had a tough stretch from March till about June. Tough stretch. Mm -hmm. Tough stretch. Tough stretch. And, and, and we got to about June. And I, I, I told First Lady, I said, I feel like I finally got my swagger back. Mm -hmm. Because we had so much going on in the family. Mm -hmm. So much going on. And, 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 and sometimes when you when you you got stuff going on, all you can do is just it's just it's just it's just plow into the word right. and keep standing. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, having done all to stand, yeah. he says, stand, therefore. Yeah. Amen. Watch this, y'all. Wait. Somebody say, wait. Wait. The, the, the Greek word for wait is dumaya. Dumaya. D-U-M-I-Y-A-H. Dumaya. And it, oh, whoo. Come on, somebody, y'all got to catch me on this. Catch me on this, Ante. Watch this, Ante. I, I, watch this, Ante. Catch this. Do mine. It means wait. Y'all okay with this? This going to mess you up. This going to mess you up. It means wait in silence. Wait. Huh. Wait in silence. Wait in silence. Watch this. That's important. Be, be, because, because, because. You can have what you say. And if we say, if we start talking, when we are going through something that's very vital in our lives, that's very, very sensitive in our lives, when we start, when we start, uh, when we start saying stuff, even stuff that you don't really mean, you can have what you say. Boy, is it too much, y'all? Too much for the first day back? Good work. All right, thank you, ma'am. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. You can have what you say. So sometimes, so he's telling us, wait. But don't just stay there. Be quiet. Wait in silence. 
Wait in silence. Wait in silence. Because sometimes, watch this assignment, sometimes the assignment that God gives us is, 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 is over our head. Amen. And because it's over our head, we'll start talking ourselves out of it. <laughs> you start talking. You start talking yourself out of it. Yeah. I can't do that. Right, right, right. I ain't do. I ain't do that. They, they, they want this too much for me. They want that. Right. You start talking yourself out of it, mm -hmm. and you didn't looked up. You didn't looked up, but you didn't. You talked yourself out of what God told you to do. Yeah. Come on, now. Come oh, on. Good. Come on. Mm, mm, mm. I'll just. I'll just wait right here in silence so y'all can get that. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all got that? Yeah, Silence. Right there. So, 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 don't, so, so be quiet. Be quiet so that we don't talk ourselves out of what God is trying to talk us into. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't, this, see, talking yourself out will, will, will sound something like this. If it doesn't happen by this time, we're going to put a time on God. God, the creator of time. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah. Think about that, y'all. We're going to put, we're going to put time, a time limit on the creator of time. When did Sarah have her baby? When did Sarah get pregnant? When did Abraham get Sarah pregnant? All right. All right. Because God is not, he's not, he, he is the author of time. He's not concerned about our clocks. That's right. <laughs> ain't concerned about your clock. Yeah. I gotta have it during this time. I gotta have it at the, I gotta have it between this stretch. Mm, I'm getting too old. That's you mean you're getting too old? He'll give you the energy that you need. Come on, Pastor. Come on. It, it, it's a Come lot on. more it's a lot more energy in here. I just gotta lose some weight and go get it. Mm -hmm. Huh? Huh? Amen. If it doesn't happen by this time, then. If God doesn't show up, then. God don't do this, and 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 we and we we may not say that in a public setting, but we be walking around the house speaking it out loud come to on, God on, by come ourselves. On. Come on. The Bible says faith comes by hearing. If you hear it, He hear it. Come on, now. Preach, Thomas. Amen. Preach, Thomas. I ain't getting no amens on that, did I? Y'all ain't giving me no amens on that one. Uh huh. Uh huh. We gotta get. It. We got. We we gotta wait. Wait silently. No words need to be spoken. Especially those that will contradict what God has already promised. Come on. Boy, I know. I, I've been waiting on y'all. I've been waiting to get y'all this stuff. Huh? Especially that which God has already promised you. Watch this. Don't. This is going to be good. Y'all ready? Somebody write this down for me. Blair, get ready to write this down for me, baby. Write this down for me. Don't let the discomfort of the present destroy the vision that God has for you. Don't let the discomfort of the present. Sometimes the present where you are presently is, 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 is not comfortable. Right. It's not comfortable. It's not where you want to be. Mm -hmm. Right? If it was comfortable, you wouldn't move. Right. <laughs> yeah. Woo! Preach, Thomas. If, if, it, if it was comfortable, you wouldn't move. And, and so and so and so and so and so God God intentionally makes some things uncomfortable for you so you can stay on your toes. Come on now. Mm -hmm. Ooh. 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 Jesus. Keep you on your toes. So the, 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 don't let the discomfort destroy God's vision for you. Well, it's just uncomfortable. It's gonna be all right. Hmm. All right. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you about two more slides. I'm gonna get out of your way. Thank you, Blair. Thank you, Blair. Thank you, Blair. Watch this. Not just randomly waiting. Not just randomly waiting, but waiting on God. Waiting on God. Not just randomly waiting, but waiting on God. We were in Miami, and we decided, we kind of get a little venturous when it's just me and Crystal. We, you know, when there's other people, we'd be real, we'd be real conservative. But when, when it's just me and her, we get kind of venturous. And so we decided we are going to catch the bus downtown. We said we're gonna catch the bus downtown. And so we we out there and I'm talking about randomly waiting. We are waiting at the bus stop. How you waiting at the bus stop and the bus pass you by? In <laughs> Miami, they come now. How you how you we we at the bus stop, man? You don't see us stand at the bus stop? That's your your job is to stop at the bus stop and pick us up. Right. 
<laughs> we just not randomly waiting. We're like, we looking. <laughs> we looking. I, I held my hand up like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the bus just passed. I, we looked at one another and said, did the bus just leave us? Uh -huh. Huh? We're not just randomly standing here. Right? right? We're standing here with the purpose. Huh? So what the Lord wants you to do, He don't just want you to randomly stand by. He wants you standing with the purpose. Amen. He don't want you just randomly waiting. He wants you to wait with the purpose. Mm -hmm. Wait with the purpose. Uh -huh. and, now, and while you're waiting with the purpose, you, you have to begin to speak it. Speak that thing. Hallelujah. Speak it. Y'all need to share. I'm telling y'all Facebook church, y'all need to start sharing this with somebody. Somebody in your Facebook group needs to hear and be encouraged. Encourage. Let somebody in your Facebook uh, uh, group be encouraged. Mm -hmm. Not just yourself, but let them be encouraged. Encourage their hearts. Watch this. Watch this. This is what God said. This is what we say to God when we're trying to, and trying to encourage ourselves. Watch this. Say this. Say, the Lord will, the Lord will come through. Say so he did it before, he did it before. And he'll, do it again. he'll do it again. Watch it, because he's the God of yesterday, today, and forever. Yes. See, we know that he, we know that he, he'll do it, he'll do it again, because we know that he did it again. Yes. He will restore. Yes. In other words, he'll give it back to you. Yes. That which you lost, he'll give it back to you. Yes. He'll replenish. Yes. Huh? Sometimes Some double, double for your trouble. Come He'll give you a double for your trouble. He will replenish. Yes, he will. And watch this. Watch this. This is what I love. This is what I love. He'll make a way. Sometimes it ain't no way. That's right. Huh? Sometimes he'll open a door that you can't even see. Okay. Hello. And he'll keep the door to where you can't see it because sometimes you'll talk. You'll talk your way out of the door. He say, that's the door I want you to go in. I ain't going that door. Anybody. Can't nobody build that door. I ain't seen nobody come in or out that door. Oh, I ain't want me to go in that door. Oh, boy. That door looked like the, oh, something wrong with the knob. <coughs> you start saying all kind of doubt, speaking doubt and unbelief. <clears throat> and so the Lord said, I got to hide the door. I got to hide the door from you. So that, so that, so that, so that when it's time to open the door, all you can't even, all you're doing is just, is just grabbing the knob and turning. And he's like, ooh, open the door. And he'd be shouting and praying, yeah, yeah. That's what it means when he say he opened doors that we could not see. Huh? He made it so we couldn't see. Why? Because you was about to talk your way out of it. That's good, that's good. Mm, my Lord. Hallelujah. Man, watch this. He did it before. Do it again. He'll do it again. Mm -hmm. This is my last slide for the day. Last slide for the day. At the top of this slide, y'all, it says freeze. Mm -hmm. Psalm 62 and 2. He said, he only is my rock. He, he preaching now. Mm -hmm. See, he first thought, remember, remember I started off with that, that kind of that negative verse, verse 4? Mm -hmm. But well, look at verse number 2. He says, he only is my rock. He's my rock mm -hmm. and my salvation. Watch this. And Elder Bell and my defense. Huh? Somebody say this out loud. Put this on screen. God fights my battle. God fights my battles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He fights my battles. And, and, and listen, and, and you, yeah, listen. I, I, that's why you got to pray for your enemies. Because God fights your battles. Amen. You got to pray for you. Yeah, I'm going to pray for you. Why? Because God fight my battle. Do, do y'all hear what I'm saying? Your enemies are, are literally in a battle with God. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. You think you're fighting me? You're not fighting me. God fights my battle. Amen. He looks out for me. He always has. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. Watch this. Watch this. Look at that. Look at that second Woo. bullet there. It said, the rock symbolizes security. Mm -hmm. God is our security. He is our defense. Mm -hmm. He is an immovable foundation. Huh? This is what we say sometimes, Elder Michelle, we say, I shall not be moved. Why? Because he's the rock of my salvation. I ain't going nowhere. Huh? It, it, it may look tight. First lady, I ain't going nowhere. Huh? I'm hanging in there with the Lord. Why? Because he's been too good to me. I know that it's worked. All right? 
I shall not be moved. I'm not giving up. That's right. I ain't throwing in the towel. That's right. I ain't calling mercy. That's right. Nowadays they got the they got something in in in, in um uh in, in this newfangled boxing, this kickboxing stuff, this a, a what they call it, AML, what they call it? Where, where they be fighting and kicking and wrestling and all that stuff. A per MMA? Yeah. A person will, they call it, tap out. Yeah. I ain't tapping out. Right. Why? Because God gonna give me a strategy right. that will defeat the enemy. Teach the word. Teach the word. <laughs> Teach the word. I feel like preaching, y'all. Yeah. Oh, I, I know I said that. Molly, just leave me alone, Molly. Just don't say nothing. Don't put no don't put no no comments on that, Molly. I got one more slide. <laughs> I got one more slide. One more slide, y'all. I know I said that was the last one. This is the last one. This is the last one for sure. What's it? Verse number five. He says, My soul, wait thou only upon God, for my expectation is from him. I just wanted to leave you with that. He said, My expectation is from him. My expectation or my anticipation is from him. Anticipation. We think major. Oh, preach this, Thomas. Oh, okay, I'm going to leave y'all with this. We think major because God is major. That's right. Amen. Amen. Huh? That's why we think major. That's why you think so big. Because your God is big. Amen. He's the creator of the universe. Oh, he created heaven and earth. Yes. He's a big thinking God. Yes. And he created some big thinking people. Yes. Yes. Huh? Yeah. We, we, don't, we don't think small. It, 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 if, if you think small, then you think your God is small. Hmm? Well, God is not small. He's a big God. You know, we sing that song, big. My God is big. So strong. So mighty. Huh? He's big. He's a big God. Amen? And, 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 this, and, and this is what old school say. I'm, I'm done, y'all. This is what old school used to say. He sits high. And he looks low. Amen. 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 Huh? Amen. Hallelujah. Did y'all get anything today? Amen. You got something today? Amen. Amen. You get something today, Sister Rose? Amen. Did y'all get something out there, Facebook Church? Amen. Amen. I held strong. I, 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 I held the audience, so, so y'all must have been getting something good today. Amen. Amen. Send me some thumbs if y'all got something. Send me some thumbs. Amen. Listen, go out to Antioch of Lansing. Please plant a seed. I got, uh, we got some things in the ministry that we're trying to do. Uh, we're, trying, we're, we're doing some upgrades around the church. I need your help. I need